Wow, Wally here. <laughs> it's freezing, boy. Freezing. Yeah, it, it's 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 time to start. It's it's very early. Not very early. It is the it is like the 19th of January. It is time to start moving on with projects at Red Branch. Uh, I got a couple of big ones coming up. Let me explain to you what's been happening. Bruno, get out of my truck. You know you, you can't drive. He can't drive. Let me explain to you what's been happening, guys. I know you've been asking about projects that I've mentioned before, but let's 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 talk about them. Stay tuned. So, guys, I had been I had been talking about building certain things down here, and I had been talking about digging in the garden, and and I, look, here's the crack, right? I'll show you what I'm going to be, I'll explain what happened, so, and then I'll show you what I have planned, what's going to be upcoming on the channel, guys. Okay? So, I was actually in talks about moving this, not like some sort of teleportation beam where I could lift the whole of Red Branch up and just put it somewhere else. I was talking about, I was in talks about going to another location, so I sort of hadn't been focusing a lot on Red Branch, I sort of had been waiting to see what happens, but uh, that has all fallen through. So it's now 100% back to Red Branch. So I got a couple of big projects coming up, guys. First one is 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 I gotta get this. I gotta get do some work on the cabin. It's gonna be the summer cabin. I'm gonna start calling it the summer cabin because we don't use it in winter. Let's have a look. The cabin. The cabin is incredibly dark. This is this is the issue with the cabin. Uh, it is off grid. There's no water. There's no electricity. There's nothing like that. So uh, I'm going to put a window in on this side, right there where my hand is. Okay. And this is as you can see, the sun is is on this on this side of it a lot. So it's going to give it a lot of light. It's going to have to go. It's going to have to go here. Okay, because this is this is my four before, and. I've recently just got a couple of more windows as well, so I'm probably going to go ahead and put one on the opposite side as well. Now this is the south facing wall, south-ish, south-east facing. And this is the north wall guys, do you see the difference there, right? Now, I'm in two minds about here, but I do have another window, so I might as well put it in. Do you know, more light is, is better than less light, that's the way I look at it. Uh, the only other thing I could maybe think of would be putting one here in this corner. See, you just can't see that. There's, there's the window, look. So <clears throat> I might put one here and then leave this whole corner, this whole north end of it here. Just leave all that solid, which means that I could put a. I could put my stove and everything over on this side. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I'm thinking. So that's going to be a big job, big job. Okay, that's going to be. I'm going to have to spend money to do that. You know, so that is what I'm looking at at the minute. Next job. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is the bushcraft shelter. So this is this is my permanent bushcraft shelter down here in Red Branch. And what I have been doing here, guys, is I have been sort of using this as training I'm teaching myself how to do various different things planting poles you know doing all this stuff because i'm not i'm not that handy i'm not that handy with with stuff like this i generally am making a lot of stuff up <laughs> as i go along so what i need to do here guys is, is is i definitely need to step these up at least twice the height of what they are and the same across the back as well. And as you can see, what I do as well is, is, is I build these little areas. And that's what I use the uh, the waste material from when I fell the trees. Next big job. This. This frozen piece of wasteland. It's not wasteland. Frozen tundra. Uh, guys, this is this is where my uh, my veg garden is going to go. So I need to get this dug over. Uh, I I sort of had left it. I wasn't that pushing it because I was going to get a digger to come in and do some work anyway. And uh, I was just going to get him to to scrape off the top of it. 
uh, and, and get me down to the topsoil, which means, you know, something that he could do in five, 10 minutes would probably take me three hours at least, you know, and wreck me and do my back in. I'm 45 now, you know, so this is, this is what I'm thinking. So that's next. Uh, I got some nice trees in here as well. I'm not going to take them out. I did take one out of here. Love, lovely silver birch, like good, good six foot silver birch, like, like these ones here. And I replanted it and it died. So I was sort of like, ah, I'm just going to leave them. So guys, I have one more big project and that's the one I'm going to start today. But in between all those projects, I have strimming, I have grass cutting, I have tree felling, I have replanting, uh, I, have, I have some, I have maybe, I stop. Point, pointers are funny when they point. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I have I have 500 trees on the way. I want to plant in hedges and stuff like that, and make windbreaks, and you know, just there's just so much to go on this year. And I've sort of been holding back on stuff, but uh, but there's nothing to hold me back now. That's better. We bit more light, guys. I'm going to put in a pole barn here, right here. Okay, so. I'm going to, it's going to be three, six uprights, three at the back, three at the front, okay, uh, and it's all going to be done by hand. I'm going to use the timber that is here, as in the trees. So I have a couple of uh, uh, nice big stems put away. Uh, everything is going to have to be stripped and, 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 and uh, all the bark's going to have to be stripped, all the holes are going to have to be dug. So I'm hoping that I can build it approximately 14 feet by 10 feet okay so it's going to be 10 feet out this way you can't even see me it's going to be 14 feet this way and 10 feet out this way okay that is my basic plan okay I am winging this completely <laughs> it's uh it is going to be made from stuff that i've looked at on youtube and went oh that looks cool i might try that okay so that's the way i'm going to do it guys it's going to be made of poles from from the forest trees from the forest and four by twos mostly and then some sort of galvanized roof guys and there's going to be a pitch on it as well so there's 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 not going to be it's not going to be enclosed it's going to be a, an open barn so uh, so I can use it as a workshop as well. So all this stuff has to be cleared out. These stumps are going to have to go at some stage as well. So uh, and I'm going to have to dig six nice big holes, and I'm going to have to concrete the poles into place. Okay, so that's my plan. I'm going to have to creosote the poles and stuff like that as well. So that is my, those are my plans for the next couple of months, uh, and I am going to get started in about five minutes guys thanks for watching looking forward to all this and looking forward to you guys joining me okay stay frosty